Trees don't just exist to beautify cities. They are the lungs, liver, and heart of the world's cities. Hello fans, welcome to Suzy Gist, where we talk about people from the hairstyle of a village boy to celebrities like Rihanna. We also talk about places from a village hut to big palaces and also cover events such as birthdays and wedding parties. What else do we not do? If you are new here, please like, subscribe and hit on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Don't forget to leave your comment on the comment section below as we give you the gist for today. Trees have 350 million years experience looking after our planet. Luckily, when modern cities started to form, someone had the clever idea of planting trees there too. So we could enjoy the benefit they bring even in our urban communities. Our urban trees are pretty amazing. Not only do they provide a source of beauty and interest in urban landscape, they have crucial environmental benefits and give city dwellers a place to relax away from the stresses and strain of everyday life. But our human stress have come under increased threat in recent decades and we are now at risk of losing the lungs of our towns and cities. With 80% of us now living in urban areas, we now need our trees more than ever. Trees enhance our physical health because trees create an appeal for us to walk. When space is beautiful and safe, people are more likely to be active, including walking or riding a bicycle. In this way, trees encourage healthy lifestyle. Active design, including trees, is an environmental way to encourage people to move and support health outcomes. This increased activity may be the reason why better heart health and longevity are correlated with green space rich neighborhoods. Lower air pollution also is a likely contributor. It is not all about the physical environment. Trees also help us with our ability to cope mentally with life in an artificial human environment. Being around nature, specifically trees, has been shown to reduce the level of cortisol in our brains. This is otherwise known as the stress hormone, and lowering it can help to reduce the symptoms of anxiety and stress. We are also more likely to leave our homes, go outside, and exercise if there are lovely, welcoming trees and green spaces. Several studies show that tree canopy creates lower rate of psychological distress. People are happier and less likely to depression when they've got connection to nature. There is no doubt that relaxation supports physical health benefits. And trees canopy provide us the opportunity to go out and relax. People are most likely to go for a boat ride when the sides of the canal are lined with trees. Healthy trees are aesthetically pleasing. They create variation in color, texture, and height in the visual landscape. Their beauty can be a tourist draw. Trees also help promote regional biodiversity. Birds, butterfly, squirrels, and other local fauna require the habitat and sanctuary provided by trees. The trees' ability to help prevent soil erosion can also help maintain understory vegetation. Do you know that trees lower the temperature of urban areas? They offer shades, large canopies like a parasol. They also release water vapor into the air, which is why the shade beneath a tree is often fresher than shade beneath a partial umbrella. Cities are hotter than surrounding countryside. Hardscape like concrete and bricks absorb sunlight creating what's known as an urban heat sink. Create combat urban heat sinks in parts by capturing sunlight 
so that it does not hit the pavement and get absorbed. Trains also release water as water vapor through evapotranspiration from their leaves, which produce a cooling effect. They also provide shade for the ground and buildings, resulting in further cooling and less energy usage. The overall cooling effect of a single mature tree is equivalent to 10 air conditioning units running for 20 hours in a day. In urban environments, the lower climate control of trees lowering both heating and cooling requirements helps prevent energy use. Creating a healthier microclimate helps lower the overall energy requirement of the city. If trees produce free Wi-Fi, we'll be planting them in our cities like crazy. But what they do produce is oxygen, an element which is fundamental in our existence on this planet. In a single season, one mature leafy tree can produce enough oxygen to allow 10 of us to breathe. This is most important of all in densely populated and polluted areas like cities, where average oxygen levels are expected to be at least 6% lower. Trees are our biggest tool in the struggle to lower atmospheric carbon dioxide and mitigate climate change. They play an important role as what we call carbon sinks. This is the storing of carbon as part of the carbon cycle and is an important part of helping to mitigate the effects of climate change. Research has shown that reforestation on non-food producing lands both urban and rural, is a way to capture 200 billion pounds of carbon dioxide over the next 50 to 100 years. Isn't that wonderful? In a year, a single mature tree can absorb up to 48 pounds of carbon dioxide. Globally, our forests absorb 40% of man-made carbon dioxide emissions before it reaches our outer atmosphere, where it can trap more heat. Because of their size and density, trees are much better at this than smaller plants. Bingo! Trees are inexpensive for the world of benefit they offer. It isn't just carbon dioxide that trees absorb from the air. They also suck up a range of other pollutants and toxins which are emitted by our everyday activities. Trees help manage air quality by reducing particulates and absorbing gases. A single tree can have five acres worth of surface when calculating all the leaves and branches inclusive. The tree surface capture and settle particulates from the air. When it rains, the channelization of water along branches and in bags helps to wash this particulate to the ground where it is filtered by soil and other plants. This is more vital than ever as air pollution keeps increasing in urban areas and the air we breathe is already reaching toxic levels in some areas. Trees also prevent flooding. A single mature leafy tree can absorb up to 450 liters of water through its roots every day, as well as capturing rainwater on the surface of its leaves. Their roots also reduce soil erosion in the ground and slow the filtration of water into a city's drainage network. This is particularly important in cities where a large proportion of the ground surface is made up of impermeable material like tar and concrete. When we get a sudden downpour, this can quickly cause flash flooding if the water has nowhere to go. Trees do the rescue. Trees decrease the flooding these circumstances create. In light shower, leaves and branches capture and absorb water on their surface, where it can evaporate rather than running to grounds. The water that runs down the branches, backs, 
and roots is channeled to soil and groundwater. Roots also helps build the water holding capacity of the soil. And they also help the soil erosion by binding the soil together. Greater soil depth means more strata to absorb water. Finally, trees use water in their life processes. Rather than simply retaining water to the ground, a tree also retains moisture to the air in a process called transpiration. A mature oak tree can retain 40,000 gallons of water to the atmosphere per year. Trees actually help with safe road design. They have proven to slow average driving speeds. On medians, they reduce the chance of head-on clashes. A row of trees can also provide clear demarcation of pedestrian zones, creating a virtual wall that helps keep drivers on the roadway. Trees also make a significant impact on the lives of drivers, even those just passing through an area. An interesting study from 2003 shows that trees help increase people's resilience to frustration. The author suggests tree-lined streets might help mitigate the aggravation of commuting. As the trees on the street matured, property value tends to increase. Home with trees sell for 5 to 10% more. Given the other benefit of trees, their beauty, health effect, flood mitigation, and ability to cool and refresh the air, trees offer a great return on this investment. Properties with trees save on cooling costs due to shade and transpiration. They also save on heating costs through windbreak and climate moderation effects. Well-placed trees can add beauty to landscaping. They also may help provide privacy to residents, depending on their placement. Most of the trees we see in our cities today are here thanks to our revolutionary ancestors who planted them as long as 100 years ago for us to enjoy them today. But these trees are now coming to the end of their life cycle and reaching old age. The problem we face now is that it takes a long time for a tree to reach maturity. So if we don't increase the level of tree planting soon, we may have a long wait until we have more iconic beautiful trees to replace the aging tree population. 80% of us are now living in urbanized environments and there is no sign of this slowing down. It is projected that the increase in urbanization along with expected overall global population growth, could mean another 2.5 billion people in urban population by the year 2050. We now need our trees more than ever. Trees have been part of the natural landscape since humans evolved on Earth. We have a deep inmate desire to be around them, even if we aren't aware of it. What will our cities be like? if we weren't able to enjoy seeing a glimpse of greenery as we walk down the street. Would you prefer to see more grey than green? I know some will say they drop leaves and fruits on the street. Yes, trees drop leaves and fruits, produce pollen, and have roots that can become invasive, yet trees make such a big difference to quality of life and urban management that these are small problems to overcome. The benefit of street trees far at place their challenges. Green space doesn't just exist to beautify urban areas. Trees are the lungs, liver, and beating heart of the world city, and they are fundamental to creating healthy, livable, and sustainable city around the globe. Trees cool our community by creating important shade and reducing air temperatures. Trees also clean the air we breathe and improve mental and physical health. Increasing tree canopy is proving to be one of the most cost-effective solutions to the public health crisis of extreme heat. Together, we can make our community cleaner, greener, and healthier by planting trees. Thank you for watching to the end.
Tschüss.